the birds have all gone now, so our airship can set off hopefully. Straight to Arlbat. Chapter 4 or 3.5, I guess. Here we are in Arlbat. I'm not sure I personally feel safe all alone in an automatic airship that hasn't been serviced for 20 years. But nothing happened, so it's all good. This place also, once again, to keep up with the theme of uh, forgotten glory. Hello? What do you think you're doing, Kate? I wanted updates. I wanted results. Certainly, Mr. Morrison. We all do. Down in the ground, we're doing all we can, but there's no new developments. Kate, I don't think you understand the urgency of this situation. Universal toys are on my back and digging in. I can't hold them off much longer. You're putting the firm in a very tricky situation. I am very sorry, but a slight mishap or two has meant that I've had to modify my mission temporarily. Miss Walker, you're walking on a minefield here. I don't have to underline that this affair is Class A Priority Numero Uno. Hot! I am only too aware of that, Mr. Marson, and believe me, I am doing all I possibly can. But this mission is really no piece of cake. You can have all the cake you want and eat it too when you get home. Next time I call you, I want something concrete, something solid. I want results. You understand? Results. Yes, Mr. Marson. Of course. As I was saying, this place looks like it used to be really nice, but obviously it hasn't been kept nice, sadly. Let's see if Madame Romanski still lives here. Good morning, sir. Good day to you, ma'am, and welcome to the Hotel Kotsky. I don't expect you've made a reservation, have you? Well, no matter. We've got a few rooms left with the sea view. By far the best on offer. Uh, well, actually, I wasn't counting on staying in Arrowbad. I see. It's like that, then. Uh, so, what can I do for you? Uh, I'll introduce myself. Let me introduce myself. I'm Kate Walker. I'm a lawyer sent by a major American law firm to take care of a delicate inheritance case. Ah, very pleased to meet you, Miss Walker. Felix Matana at your service. I'm the receptionist of this establishment. Between you and me and the brick wall, I often play the role of general manager here, too. Ah, these days the place ain't what it used to be. This hotel is truly incredible, though. It's kind of sumptuous in an old-fashioned way. You should see how sumptuous our suites are. For more than a whole century, they have accommodated some of the world's greats. Would you like to take one? No, it's okay, thank you. I'm not staying. I've got to get away. I'm expected. Right. Well, in that case, I don't see what I can do for you. It looks like it used to be really beautiful, but the walls 
need some renovating. Um, I want to meet someone who lives here. That's very inconvenient. None of my customers said they were expecting someone. You can't just turn up like that. We've got a very strict policy. In this day and age, the hotel ain't too open to, um, impromptu visits from any Tom, Dick, or Harry. Uh, please. I absolutely must speak with her. It's very important. If it was that important, all you had to do was ring the hotel. Her people come here to rest, you see, to get away from the world, which ain't turning so good these days. Uh, don't let me keep you. Good day to you, ma'am. Honestly, if I could have called, I would have called, but I couldn't. So, please, can you bend the rules just a little, sir? Ma'am, in this hotel, we don't bend nothing for no one. With respect. All right, so we're not getting anywhere with him, obviously. Uh, see if there's another way to get in. Well, thanks anyway. At your service, ma'am. Probably locked. The door's locked, but I've still got to get in there. What? No. Oh. <laughs> Aha. Perfect. I'm assuming she used this prank as a as a college student. Perfect. <laughs> it looks kind of nice. Like a foggy, foggy fountain. Oh no, look what someone did to your fountain. Sir? Rules. Sir? You again? You're beginning to really overstep the mark. I warn you, one more and I'm going to... But what the hell's going on over there? Why is it me gets hell to pay when there's already too much work to do? Like watching football games. <laughs> Up you go. Don't worry, I'll... Be a perfect customer and stay here. Let's have a look. What have we here? Yeah. Oh, Helena Romanski arrived in 1981 and never left. Recognize oh Hans Borlberg also came to visit in nineteen eighty one but left in nineteen eighty five and that was his resident code apparently one four seven eight yes oh, she's in there twice oh, she became a resident then. A resident code. And there are two other people staying at the moment, it seems. Voila. A brochure.
I wonder if that phone number will be important for anything. <coughs> so this is just a short uh, leaflet explaining that they've got hotels around the world. Well, around Europe at least. Door is open. So we're free to go now. Guessing he'll still be busy cleaning up his fountain. Sorry. Beautiful. Let's have a look around. See if we can find Miss Romanski. What's this? Door is locked. Looks like an automaton. Hello there. Good afternoon, Miss. Are you the hotel barman? My name is James, Miss. James, the automaton nurse. I am not a barman. I'm sorry, I didn't want to upset you. If you don't mind, miss, I would appreciate it if you would just be a little more rigorous in the terms you employ in the future. <laughs> sure. Uh, you look like you were made by Hans Vorlberg. Have you ever heard of a Mr. Vorlberg? The name is not entirely foreign to me. Really? You know Hans Vorlberg? That I cannot say, miss. Madam has forbidden me from talking about him and even mentioning his name. <laughs> Why? Nostalgia, sadness, medication. Call it what you humans will. We never had this conversation, did we, miss? Madam would be very angry to learn that I know, and now you know as well. Oh dear. Don't worry. Mum's the word. My name is Kate Walker. Pleased to meet you, miss. You are not here for treatment, are you? No, I'm not. I only want to meet Madame Romanski. I would be delighted to serve you tea when Madame returns from her constitutional. I don't want to impose. Uh, maybe your mistress won't want to take tea with me. Madame likes to complain for the sake of it. Believe me, she loves visits. In that case, thanks for the invitation. It's a very interesting bar, by the way. Look at all those little pipes. Must be uh, very difficult to restock. I'm looking for Madame Romanski. Do you know where she is? 3.30 to 4.30 p.m. Madame Romanski takes her daily constitutional on the pier. Tea is served at 5 o'clock sharp. Is it possible to go see her? As you wish, but do pay attention to the salt wind. Mm-hmm. Well, I'm going, James. See you later, maybe. It would be a pleasure to see you again, miss. Sure it would be. <laughs> 